<laughs> Welcome back everyone to another episode of Survival Chaos and today we are gonna be fighting our fellow streamer who have been streaming after on our channel Sippy. We're also up against Jessica and Mr. Aragorn himself, LSR. So full community battle here. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be playing with any bones you guys request me. I did adjust the lighting a little bit for the cam. We did adjust the microphone settings. We are actually talking through the headset right now, so I did fix that, but I do not know whether you guys can hear me loud or well enough. I cannot talk out loud because the beautiful women are currently asleep. But yeah, if my voice is not clear enough, then please let me know. Or if all organic, yeah, all of them are organic. Generally not a big fan of the upper frost, although the extra level of cleaving attack is nice. Yeah, if people, uh, the book boy wants it, then we can go for it. It's kicking my ass. We are beating up some filthy blood elves. We're at least looking a little bit good here at the top. So we're only getting no other requests, so it's gonna be the orb of frost then. Let's just go over it. Yeah, I'm gonna cry Blood of Paws and Mohammed. He's playing with Blood for Blood. It's an extremely powerful bonus for uh, the fact that their units will explode. But all of his buildings will explode, deal plenty of damage to us. We got no lump mill nearby. We have 10% less hit points in buildings. So his single bonus kinda dooms us greatly. Very, very exciting. Yeah, let's go aggressive okay. there. Tip of will be fun. Insufficient gold. Insufficient gold. Insufficient gold. <laughs> He's still upgraded against me first. Oh my lord. We're gonna let him attack our base. That's fine. If we can get a few more. Take a break. Ah, he's playing with the... Curse. The cursed orb. So yeah, he's probably gonna be killing us at the middle lane. While he is gonna be pushing us at the bottom. Research finished. Let's get this one upgrade quickly. Um, we're gonna be taking some hits at the top. I want free attack damage. We will soon have to use the eruption on this front liners. We got the using attack here for 200% damage against the mages and this will be 100%, 150% damage against the front line so that's cool did I find a workaround around these small nameplates? nope we did not play too many games yet so it's still something we got to get used to and I think we will get used to it rather quickly <laughs> yeah the Extra sp uh, less werewolf spawning there is just what Sippy needs. Oh man. Hopefully we <coughs> will be able to crush him there. Uh, Jessica's got two tier 2 barracks already. Nidal's tier 2 mill lane. And they will are actually backstabbing us. Working the advantage of the Worgen here of course. We've been logged out. Yeah, splendid. Might have to buy a single siren here. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna say big note to that. Let's go T2. But yeah, we shouldn't be taking too much damage on our base. If we do that, then we are going to be in a horrible position later on in this battle. Especially if he will fall. Not expecting Jessica to fall early. Um, he's definitely upgrading everything for the middle lane there. That's a shame. And then... <coughs> mm, yeah, okay. I'm going to be taking the hits here for now. 
because we are gonna be strong enough to go for that counter attack. I will keep upgrading just like Sippy. In the hope that we will perform a little bit better here. It's just tier 1 middle lane. So he will be lacking a little bit of gold there, but then again, he is controlling the middle lane a lot better than we are. So he will, it's probably higher than only total gold. <clears throat> but Jessica's going so aggressive on the side, and it's kind of helps the werewolves to control the middle lane. Which in the end might be bad for him if they are gonna be pushing through there. A risky play by Jessica's. But I don't think he's gonna get punched for it. Let's go to 3 4. Losing slow. Well, improving the slow to reduce the attack speed is kinda nice. Yeah, by upgrading this silent, we will hopefully at least take control here. I don't really want to fight the werewolves on a tier to barracks here yet. Because having less werewolves here would be a rather disgusting thing as well. <clears throat> so let's hope Sippy will lose these forces quickly. But he's just gonna be snowballing so hard. Hey there, Turk leader. Nice to be seeing you there. Always wonderful to be seeing you around. And hello there, Sus and Stepper. Leave it there free. Yeah, seems good. The orb just basically slows down the enemies. While increasing your attack rate slightly. Look at the werewolves, boy oh boy. <coughs> we bought a lot of extra units there. That's slightly costly for him. He's gonna be lucky enough to be killing a lot of organ in mid lane to get 100% gold there. He's just the one that he might be in a tough position. Yeah, <clears throat> we're not doing good gold wise, so I'm not gonna be waiting around all too long. We could go for the cleave though. I think go to the top. Just get that little bit of extra gold while going for the small phantom glance. It's fine. Well, look at them go here, man. <clears throat> look at them go. Boy, 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 boy. Realistically, elves should be able to defend it easily with a few X units, a tier one spell, tip upgraded, but we should be able to stay in control there at least. Can we stay in control here? I don't know, man. That are a lot of sources. Oh, we just upgrade left side, not right side. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, we definitely cleave to combat all these insane waves of wolves. And wolves incredible mid game, so this is only gonna be get, be getting even more painful with the time passing by. So I'm gonna ignore the fortifications. <clears throat> I will go for the upper frost here. <laughs> well, we, we did upgrade the middle lane first. We are probably used to that. <laughs> Still have one on the mana though. He has two fortifications. Interesting. 
Lifty work would accidentally destroy us well based and that would definitely be painful since we are still on zero fortifications. But I don't believe the blood has to be weak defend. He should be more than fine in lane. Yeah, this is really painful, painful numbers. It's also because we are running here with a level 0 fortification. But I want the level 6 attack damage and the cleaving attack up. Certainly we'll have to buy a few units here. I'm gonna throw down the eruption and then go for the tier 2 shrine. But in the perfect world I would have upgraded this before throwing down the spell. We couldn't hit them all. Yeah, we might have to buy a few more units. I don't like it. I'd rather not lose his barracks or get badly hurt. I don't stay free mid lane. That's also quite interesting. But the more units we buy now, the further we will fall behind, and the more we will have to keep buying. We are already playing near last battle. Anything uh, call from the night is go tier 3. We will have to use one eruption here and then we definitely have to find a way to buy, uh, save up some mana. Let's cut them out as it really slow down these filthy wolves. I have to buy several more units. <laughs> yeah, that's a really filthy wolf. This one as well, as well. Bit of lucky with the way they surrounded the barracks. Look at that, man. Let's slow them. That's all we can do. Use for fine there for the time being. Yeah, low mana. Low building health. <coughs> blood for blood. Yeah, it's, it's a doom battle. Should the Nidos push through, we can indeed send there. Oh my lord, Ancient of Storms, tier 4 unit replacement. He was complaining about getting sandwich, but he still had the gold to go tier 4 middle lane effort real quickly. Ay, 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 ay. I know they got some kind of <coughs> a wind spell. Man, the model looks cool though, man. We certainly do not have the uh, the ability to be fighting the Night Elves if they push through the middle lane. Um, yeah, I feel we might be going for emergency repairs here today. <coughs> he still lost the top barracks. How? How can you go tier 3 and tier 4 middle lane? Lose the top. First blood, yeah, you're the blood elf. Uh, again, it's gonna be annoying. Mm, 
let's upgrade our defenses. If the Nidals do fall, then we are gonna be in the set with ourselves. <coughs> oh no. Yeah, Nidals were definitely too greedy. We should stay to probably Melina and better would have gone to three side lanes. I don't know, but we are definitely in a bad situation now. Let's get the crippling courts. I might push it through quickly now though. Once again, a bit surprised about Liadrin. Hey Maritz, nice to be seeing you so late. By the way, how is the microphone guys? We stay free mid lane. We could actually ignore the mid lane, let the wolves apply pressure to the blood elves. If the wolves would kill the blood elves early on, then that would be a problem uh, for us. And a great one at that. But we do not really have the finances to be fighting for the mid lane. He's gonna come through, he will attack us. We're being utterly useless here. Let's upgrade our uh, attack damage, at least at the towers. Then we will have to sell, but we are gonna have to fight over the silence. Night of not giving up, I do respect that. Hey Dennis, nice to be see you there. I really love the train icon. <laughs> but yeah, we're doomed guys. The guys a little bit too deep over there. Save up <coughs> our mana as much as we possibly can. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Oh man, the roar. Let's go take free there. Honestly, be rather be saving the sorry here. Might be getting reinforcement to stop against the blood elves. What? <clears throat> That's another tier 4 spell. Definitely the spell resistance because of his roar. His AoE spells. Uh, Leon, please do not attack the barracks. Level 4 fortifications. Level 3 cleaving attack. Kill this middle lane. 
and stink. If he had only the means of be fighting that as well. <clears throat> Look how far we are behind. Enemies did feed upon the elves, of course. The stun should be great. Hard and scales, of course. Oh boy, boy, boy. Tier 3. Tier 3. Maybe we'll go tier 3. We're probably gonna be performing as well as the Wargon or the Blood Elves, but we will be getting a little bit more gold, which could be worth it. Hey, Didon. Nice to see that. Yeah, if we get really high now, a few numbers on the stream, then we might be doing another. Drop if do the hero from Sippy. Oh, chicken. Well, let's just ignore the mill lane. <laughs> yeah, not gonna, not gonna be dealing with that. Plus, Jessica's though to send out a special unit early on. Did not hear the hero enter sound. Fearing gonna be feeding you into as well. Jessica's getting plenty of gold there. Next until against me might be quite horrifying for us. <coughs> this was, is what I feared. Real slow count tech here. He's bleeding us dry when it comes to the gold income. It's really not the news we need. Him staying tier 2 against me. Us being nothing more than a puppet in middle lane. This game is such disastrous. Playing with the orb guys. Hey Mickey, nice to be see there. Yeah, we might be doing another one. Accurate has followed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's not too healthy, but the Borg is not gonna be afraid of him. Um, if these guys keep sending special units against each other, they will have high level special units and we will be having a level 1 Treshera. <laughs> yeah, I would like to level up my mages for the extra damage to them. We are in a really nasty situation nonetheless. Might be sending a Shara to Gan to really... Try and prevent us from getting too much damage here. <laughs> oh man. That's quite doomed. Oh, still got damage there. I don't like it. Yeah, of course, just keep hitting the barracks, that's fine. Can we shoot down those pesky sources, please? Yeah, I feel like we will have to use the emergency repairs here soon. <clears throat> Destroying the... But else it's not gonna be easy. The next intel can be sent against me if he goes tier 3 against me. So yeah, we will have to be prepared for that as well. But we will take damage from his base falling sooner or later. Unless he wins.
So we will we'll have to be smart. Let's go for mod as at level 3. If they will go for special units against me, we will have even more means to deal with them. I really would love to cross spit since we're tier 3 here, tier 3 there. We're gonna be so much slower on the top goal than the other enemies. So we have to be very smart, spend the stim resource that we are getting. Ken was not supposed to go here. He's still only tier 2. But he got the reforce from, from the bats as well. Um, so yeah, again, might still be getting the kill on Tissa. It's the werewolf. There is middle lane. <coughs> That's probably not all intended. Let's go for the magic. Oh, I like the mana burn as well. Another doom. <coughs> oh boy, boy, boy. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. Hopefully we will kill him before the Soul Drain will... Uh, Soul Drain destroy them. <laughs> oh, he's just so bad, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, let's get these guys out there as well. It's gonna be a massive buff, of course. Last left barracks. Oh, boy. That's also not good news for us. He's probably a full, full mana. But I'm not expecting to lose the left barracks, especially not since he was able to send into... <coughs> that into middle lane might have been too greedy for them. He might have been better off to invest the gold into his arm. Oh man. Please don't tell me you are about to lose your world base. Sippy also repairing. Interesting, interesting. If you could nuke him, that would be fun. Hello there, Taramba. We choose this. <coughs> Might have gone man's shield. They will always apply pressure to me. So yeah, that's definitely concerning. <laughs> he did double doom. Interesting. He so used doom, upgrade tree of life to left 3 and use it again. But just guess. <laughs> that's some revenge from the Nidos. And a matter of fact, if he dies... Then the elves only have to deal with a very slow uh, barrier spawning here. And then he might just actually be okay against the wolves. But the wolves will attack the middle lane. So yeah, we better be prepared for that as well. <laughs> oh, that's some sweet revenge. Oh man, just because... Gotta love the elf here. It was a creative move, maybe a bit nasty, but he's not going to die without a fight. I can only respect that. Trying to help the <coughs> blood elves in the middle lane, so hopefully we're not going to get punished for that. Yeah, we're still behind there. <laughs> Go 
Goodbye, Keltus. And Goldrun will be going middle lane. Would be great if he would die against the Arcane Sanctum. It's gonna happen. Yeah, unlikely. Unlikely. We are still pretty much in game. Let's go Tiffle here before we get the explosion. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this game is going a lot different than expected. Unite us with some sweet revenge there. I kind of expect him to be out of the game, but he can really, really win it still. Well, Blood does go aggressive side lanes while... Um, oh boy. This wolf will attack us middle lane soon. Yeah, that's not gonna, not gonna be fun. We cannot use image repass yet because he, this will fall. These Oculus uh, are gonna be annoying. <clears throat> please, please, please don't kill chat. Run away now, run away. No, he's gonna run back in and attack the middle lane. Yikes. Can we steal this? No, we cannot. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. He's using a top. Yeah, this is gonna be hell. Other one. Would be great if we would take that. He can still get it in Sot soon. So yeah, it's it's nasty. Well, <clears throat> no lo no logic, but he did destroy the bottom enemy. He has to deal with less enemies on the long lane. So he can really take the fight with the wolves now. Maybe 200 IQ play that I did not see coming there. <laughs> yeah. Goldrin. <gasps> I want to upgrade T2. Come on. You silly, silly fool. I certainly did not mean to do this. And he's actually going for the barracks. Come on, man. Such nastiness should be forbidden. Um, of course, a share will fall. Uh, this will fall. <laughs> At least we got him somewhat slow thanks to the level 3 poison. At least in a very scary position here for us. Don't forget it totally here. Not happening. The ending coming. Night Elves actually even arriving there. Yeah, I'm not reading the chat anymore. Sorry for that, guys. Don't think we even want to know what's being said there. <coughs> I'd have to shield this. Seriously, man. Then I love one hero to be sacrificed for, sacrifice for the great good. This is what it is. Tiny to us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want bad to be crushing him. <laughs> yeah, he's been so, uh, paying so much attention. Time is gonna be a big ass problem. To special units in. 
The special is really not doing us any favor there. Why well, is he not getting redirected there? There's filthy little wolves. There's so much damage done here for no reason. We're gonna we're gonna aggro definitely messing us up all game already. Well, let's be honest, so did we. Are we ever been nothing this game? <laughs> Not as long as we were in it. We can still do something good. Well, you're already free. L1. We'll have to use the emergency pass there and see how we can defend Tiny. Gentus does not look too good. Not a doom coming here. Yeah, it's gonna be Nazat. Let's go to tier 4. <coughs> and yeah, we will have to see how we can defend Tiny. This uh, can be sent there. Can he slay Goldrin? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. <sighs> Sippy is definitely gonna overrun us. Although, research-wise, would not look too bad. This alone, we definitely need reinforce from here, but look at my base, man. It's really bleeding. <clears throat> Let's get all the damage here that we can get. And we are not gonna get too many reinforce here either. I might crush this barracks. We have nothing to redirect to. It's gonna be hitting the barracks soon. Wow, man. There we go. Hopefully we can get tiny a little bit deeper to our base soon. Double hero there. The shot will fall to Goldrin. Find the reinforcements. Golden gents will fall. That's the least of my concerns. That's <laughs> for cleaving tech, certainly. And yep, yeah, he's still going for the base, isn't he? I'll be honest, I want to keep that turret's life. It's <laughs> final blow, yeah. The shell's not really gonna help us this game. Ice Wall would be great though. We definitely need to keep upgrading our units. They will take some mid lane. <clears throat> yeah, and I also was certainly not getting most reports from that, but he did defend uh, the big one. He can soon use another Doom. What game, how it's going, it's probably gonna be against the Wogan, I hope. But yeah, if we are looking at neutral buildings, there's a laborator uh, laboratory here, reduce animal armor, metal mine there, iron forge here, sacrificial up there. <coughs> you would have expected the blood to upgrade here first. I'm not gonna be whiny about it. <sighs> I 
There is an Tobias. Yeah. The gents only. That's gonna be painful. Please just kill them. Fast enough. No. <clears throat> no. <sighs> These redirections, man. That's the two most important towers of the game. This will get reinforced bottom. <coughs> Let's stun them. Sippy is repairing. We need a lot of damage here to hold the Wagner Bay. So there's two heroes in my base. Dancing and moving around. But we are alive. <laughs> there it is against Goldrin, but in Sut, it's not gonna survive it. This might go on top. Let's get the cleaving tech level 1, Siren Song for Smart Disable. The Fury should be killable for us. He's buying the <clears throat> Night Elves, maybe some essential minutes for him to get tiny. <laughs> Dennis, be nice. Repair, yeah, we cannot repair anymore. Probably that set probably has been sent a little while ago. He's 8 7. But the most important thing for us is that the Nidos are actually buying us time against the Worgen. 8 heroes sent. <clears throat> 8 slain, that's not bad either, especially if you consider 3 of our heroes still being alive. If, yeah, Wargum will definitely defend us with these. But yeah, the mind stamp sent hit points is blood for blood. Really, really did cost us a big pain in the ass. If Sippy can somehow mess up one defense play, then that would be uh, amazing. I think we got three heroes from here. But defending the Wargen at the top is gonna be quite difficult. Let's go for this. We can use maybe one arcane shield. We will have more health with the shrine. I wish both my heroes would do at least more damage again. But they ain't happening. We're fine at the bottom of this. We are good at the middle lane for the time being. <sighs> yeah, we didn't go for an early tier uh, freeze right here. Because I want to go for the heroes to empower my army. Keep up with the enemies somewhat on research level. We've been doing okay job with that. <clears throat> so the Nidos will stop spawning in mid lane soon when Golden will attack. And so it really really did hurt him. We will not have enough gold for a share at the top. We definitely want this on level 6 because he's on level 6 and he's just simply getting too much gold compared to us.
We can do sooner or later again. <clears throat> That's tiny. Ah, those might actually survive this. Tiny, I think, will hold. We will need superb defense play there. Oh, well done, by Elsa. Sad enough, we couldn't <coughs> stun him earlier. Let's go for level 6 fortifications. It might sound odd because we want more army strength. But if we want to be in this for a long game, we need to get a little bit go uh, close to him gold wise. And impressively done here by Elsa to keep both buildings still alive. We push middle. <coughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get the uh, damage mitigation spells soon again. Well, not spells, researches, of course. <laughs> it's late, guys, it's late. We might be doing here, he could be doing there. Oh, uh, he went middle. Oh boy. <coughs> That's surprising to say the least. Cross pit, sure. <coughs> yeah, it's gonna be one against one between me and Sippy, and let's not forget we only have a level one special unit. Let's hope he's gonna take the walk into the middle lane. That will be pretty fun. Not certain what the Nidos plan with this. Even if he sticks here, he will be saved middle lane. And this is gonna be very hard for him to keep the tree of life alive. Let's get the ice wall. We cannot bet on the share of this game. It's, we cannot level her up reliably against destroyed long barracks from the Night Owls. Middle lane would be silly against Ansat, and sending him here would mean he's just a slight little meal against the puppies. So yeah, then the start <coughs> probably would have been better here once Tiny was the good as that. But uh, yeah. And this wave is going to be annoying, but it's probably not going to be attacking us. This uh, is going to be annoying. But yeah, we need a miracle to defeat Seppi realistically. Night Elves are certainly done for. Research finish. Mighty Blow, sure. We still want this. We might have to deal with Golden uh, here. <coughs> Tiny could still beat up Tobias. That would be fun. <coughs> yeah, the pain begins. We kinda need to tank. Golden in here, use the arcade shield, the reinforce from everywhere. That's not gonna be easy. This is the title guard nearly destroyed. <coughs> These were safe at the bottom. You save and mill for a little while. Let's get a nine attack, hopefully before it attacks. Hero 
Yeah, level one, especially it's not gonna help us defend him. At least we have to stun. <sighs> Cross spiller free soon. Yeah, this poor Angel of War. In the name of Scenarius. <laughs> In the name of Scenarius. <laughs> Research finished. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I mean. Yeah, and the sub will probably have to be in the play instead of middle lane. Because he never would really have gotten an attack through the middle lane. But yeah, I'm really amazed how long the Nidos were still able to withstand his enemies despite losing the top and the bottom barracks early on. Even destroyed the Blood Elves completely. So yeah, a lot of respect for the Nidos for not leaving and giving uh, them a hell of a fight still. I don't want to waste my resources on well, my man on the cane shield if he will keep hitting the gents. The gents will fall. He will then probably proceed to attack the main building. Sadly, not getting the reinforcements we wanted there. Yeah, an amazing job done here by LSR. Next Goldrun might arrive from the mill. You, you will have to decide which uh, place to attack. <coughs> of course, it's the barracks. Let's tank with Magentis. So it's still okay there. Yeah, we might have to deal with the walking on long lane soon. Oh yeah. Not the reinforcement that we were uh, we needed. At least we got a big one. <laughs> Let's try to get a little bit more damage mitigation against those nasty roars. More chance to block. We have buying us time. <coughs> so buying us time. There's no way we are gonna get anywhere close to Sippy. Even research wise we did fall slightly behind. I was thinking about giving armor to Tree of Life but would not really help a have helped us out in the long run. This one is mine. Darius to collect the kill here on my F. Probably, probably. Do we want to slow them down even further? Oh, yeah, we probably want to do that. I'm happy we went for the six fortifications because we kind of needed to get a little bit close to him when it comes to the gold income. I think we made the right call there, <coughs> but look at the difference still. It's gonna be killing my F. We'll probably have to deal with another special unit. While we are lacking a lot of gold, he's probably on 4,000, 5,000, maybe even 8,000 gold right now. Mrs. Hero doesn't collect the <coughs> experience from Magentus. <coughs> Would be great if we could somehow help my F here to kill Darius.
This will be research to help us out at the top. Perfect. <coughs> He's probably wanting to get the Daiwa from there. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna be painful. And we will have to deal with Darius at the bottom as well. In the perfect world, if we were running a high gold, we wanted to share it here. We would want to share that probably to deal with Darius and our heroes to deal with Goldrin. Us again. <coughs> yeah, well deserved fix for FCP, I would say. We can still buy some time with this, but it's only 15 seconds. Yeah, well played, Fernando. <laughs> Very exciting to be see you alive for such a long time. Even, even best one of the enemies that were still in great shape. A really remarkable and great performance, in my opinion. Where well, we, in all honesty, are kind of playing an invisible game. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably more damage than we wanted there already. Yeah, I don't like losing the gold, but I don't think we uh, at the tower <laughs> we got gold from it. Yeah, we're gonna be losing both heroes there. Which will probably turn this into a GG, of course. But there's no reason for us to give up. Not yet, not where we are still breeding. Ah, uh, no. <clears throat> but then again, the Wargan Agro has been messing us up all game already. But they sh should have gone to the shrine or the temple. My Barracks was hitting his units, while these were hitting his heroes. No redirection there. None. But the Wogan just simply the stronger early race, especially with the Orb. <laughs> well, st stick around guys because we are heading into another battle. They are unlucky. I want to kill the big guy. <coughs> Who knows, maybe Sat will eliminate Wogan for us. Sip is not gonna be paying attention there, and he would go there, but nope. He's apparently just relaxing over here. <laughs> He's gonna be saying hi to Darius. <sighs> Man, we tried, we tried. It's been a horrible game. But it could have been worse, could have been worse. Sadly, not really the best sportsmanship from the Blood Elf. But what can you expect when Kelt leads you? Try and do ult. This will be overrun. 
Still get one to share at least. Let's see if she can save it. Tessa. If I had a chance to do to you, it basically would be the same scenario. I'm um, not certain what the. Uh, what's meant with that, but. Oh, yeah. <coughs> it, it, it's over, it's over. Oh, thank you for staying, Dennis. Um, yeah, we're not giving up without a fight. But this is not helpful at all. Can we wreck, please? It would be great. <coughs> nah. Goldrin doesn't care. Yes, he might still use the immune spell. Uh, I don't think it's gas. <laughs> really wants to kill, doesn't he? That's pretty diabolical. Yeah, still in the man. Well, Markin, <clears throat> we were behind most of the game, and we're behind. I mean, we were really behind the Night Owls. At the moment, they lost at top barracks and bottom barracks. The Wogan was already with the uh, or snowballing, but that really caused an insane that snowball. The Blood Owls died thanks to the Doom. And then the game that went bad actually got even worse. So um, I tried to keep up with the Worgen army wise and we did an actually amazing job most of the game. Just the last 10 minutes he got a lead. So we stayed tier 2 on the main building for a long time while he kept sending the gold in everywhere. To focus on my arm strength. <clears throat> I think we did an amazing job with that. If we didn't keep up with him somewhat army wise despite our... Uh, less amount of gold, then I think we would have been overrun real quickly this game. Also, Blood Elves running the Blood for Blood just made things a lot worse. So yeah, we had to deal with some quite um, strong bonuses while we were on the up thrust. I know a lot of people are very strong with the bonus, but to me, it's not just really a bonus that complements my playstyle. We are okay with it. But yeah, we are so much better with some other bonuses from the uh, Night Elves. So yeah, we are going to be heading into another battle. Um, so yeah, so far I really want to thank you all for watching. 